Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, crystal conscious devas of heaven's holy rays. As we head into the coming full moon and eclipse corridor, our local Solaris has become very active again, releasing over 15 C-class solar flares in the past 24 hours, sending Gaia and all her children of the sun, gamma plasma waves of adamantine light. Our sacred physical vessels of light are being upgraded and updated with the new rainbow creation codes of our divine holy origins from the Most High, Prime Source Creator. The original pristine tree of life has been reactivated within all living crystalline DNA of our starseed earth angelics of the 144 to raise the consciousness and perception of our earth realm into the higher vibrations of 5D and beyond. Through these timelines, trials, and initiations, we are learning to be real human beings, meaning living from our hearts, being connected to all things. This is the oneness of our universal truth and love of our intrinsic true nature of Buddha. All our stellar diamond minds of our rainbow tribe hold the keys and codes to the doorway of our perceptions of multidimensionality as we become the cosmic bridges of the merging of heaven on earth as we consciously co-create the new Jerusalem of peace, joy, and abundance for all sentient beings of the way. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful divine decree of protection. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below. And now we continue with divine sister of the light Valerie A. Elster. Landed in Mount Shasta, hearing new tones. Telos Council meeting last night. Ancient Mu plus organic templates. Root to root. And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Megan Murphy. May my perfect divine structure of God's original divine blueprint activate within my cellular DNA now. And so it is. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Jennifer Okangale. Feminine is quantum collapsing fallen timelines as we approach equinox, returning to zero point and new potentials of balance. The blue Maharaja, staff holders who are marked for spiritual extinction, are receiving justice now. We have never denied the Divine Mother through millennia of being hunted. Our deaths did not change our anointing. The blue rose within is intact, all curses being returned to sender ninefold. She rises, she spins, she dances, she creates the new earth now. And from Divine Sister of the Light Mary Costello, indigenous cultures were of the mind of Mother, the deep knowing that Mother sustained all life. So much hardship and sacrifice has been imposed upon us. As we were extracted from our correct place within nature, pulled out of the knowing of abundance and thrown into mind programs of false scarcity, pulled out of unconditional love and thrown into false value systems, noble hearts are leading the way out of this. Grow your hair long, hold your children, wear the cloth of your people. Eat your food, sing your songs, returning to the mind of mother. Tua de Danan, 144 flowing in. And from Divine Sister of the Light Jennifer Catron, Convergence of timelines causing tower moments. Balancing of scales, new choice points for parallel alignment. Seeing it like a bleed-through into the bandwidth we just integrated. 
fallen or distorted, inverted timelines and realities are highlighted significantly for this pre-eclipse Easter transit to be fully collapsed within and without. Parallels are in flux at the moment, contracts almost rendered useless as the new frequency, new earth 12D coding and organic grid alignments are way more prevalent therefore making soul agreements always in flux, the new way. All new sacred sexuality coding this past week. Union and freedom codes, solar masculine purge, divine feminine activations, deeper embodiment and integration. Inorganic overlays for incoming bandwidth are rapidly dissolving, as opposed to the previous heavy lifting. Quantum versus 3 to 4D inverted grids. Take what resonates. Much love, beautiful soul fam. And today from Divine Sis Star of Delight Sophie Gregoire. Update. Your confidence is rising about something which is key for you. You have recently gone deeper within. Reaching more vulnerability, more truth. Going deeper is the path to give birth to projects that are even more aligned with soul. Visions and big truths about the life that you want abound. You are finding stability in this new energetic space. Exploring a new kind of balance. Expect the external to be matching your inner transformation soon. And today from Divine Broth or of the Light Richard Rudd. Gene Keys, unlocking the higher purpose hidden in your DNA. Gene Key 36, Becoming Human. March 12th through the 18th, 2024, Turbulence, Humanity, Compassion. The 36th gift doesn't freeze. It doesn't close down. It stays open. Wow. Do you know what that entails? Someone or something completely threatens to overwhelm us and we stay open. Our heart may recoil for a few moments, but we breathe deeply into our chest, anchor ourselves in the belly, and look the experience right in the eye. Richard Rudd, 64 Ways. And from the Yi Ching, the classic book of change, Hexagram 36. Darkening of the light, fire hidden within the earth, bringing light to the darkest places. Compassion is unified rapture. Humanity is orienting lightness. Turbulence is dislocated desire. Receiving passion. Be aware of the difficulty of your position and maintain firm correctness. From GeneKeys.com And from Divine Sis Star of the Light Shay from Numbers by Shea Numerology. 31224 Today wants to go full spectrum. It wants all the flavors textures, colors, sounds, and feelings. It wants to blow up the limitations, the judgments, and the proprieties. It wants you dancing in the streets to your own music. You won't, of course, because you're busy, or you're shy, or you just can't. What you can do, however, is to smile, laugh, compliment, praise, dare, and challenge. You can be different in delightful and delicious new ways, and there are a million of them. Choose a couple and get started. Break out, break up, break down if you must, but spread your wings. And today from Divine Sister of the Light Judith Kusel. Such beautiful, regenerative energy is pouring in, which is anchoring in the expansive, higher dimensional life force, as well as the divine feminine birthing powers of the new seventh root race, of the new golden diamond white human, the full return of the seventh dimensional sun children, of the original seventh central sun of illumination. Many of you were these in Elysium, the lion kingdom of Avalon. Your soul knows. We have all returned, amplified by sun children who were born since 2012 and never had incarnations before. We paved the way for their birthing, and we are here to see this process through, with love and pure loving intent. Within us now, this huge regenerative force is triggering the divine imprints, and the keys and codes of the new golden age of illumination are being activated. You will start remembering, 
literally being remembered the innate knowledge and wisdom your soul holds and these are the sacred geometrical patterns light sound and other sacred keys your soul holds as one of the illumined sun children this will activate a huge dissolving of the old as the totally new arises in astounding ways rise the new golden age the keys to unfolding life in full anchoring and of the divine feminine universal christ consciousness with that of the divine masculine bringing unity consciousness and the return of balance and harmony what a blessing from judith com from divine sister of the light lauren carolyn gorgo cosmic creation grow blossom and bear fruit the new cosmic creation cycle is upon us as we enter a new twelve month cycle at the astrological new year and steadily gain momentum toward a brand new way of existing on earth one that is beyond anything we have previously known this new creation cycle includes new layers or realms of reality that are far more connected and are lined with source and will finally provide those at the fore with a palpable template to work with a tangible blueprint to begin building the new earth structures in such a way that we will be able to collectively participate with the budding potentials becoming available to all those in alignment with the unified realms of existence the first growing season of our spring plantings will have both the solar nutrients and the cosmic nourishment to bear undefiled fruit at the moment while the planets continue their journey through pisces we are still completing karmic contracts persecution plus victim victimizer themes and clearing our bodies and earth's grids from the recent underworld purge via the two two aquarian gates but as the sun enters aries via the equinox portal three nineteen the twenty and we arrive at the first lunar eclipse of the season three twenty five you may begin to feel the holy fires ignite your creations as never before this is the unified love light plasma returning to all those who have reclaimed their seat in divine government and who are readying to lead this planet to her destiny as a star when we step into our dharmic destiny and return to our proper place and position as co-leaders of earth's destiny we successfully connect and collaborate with all those who join us in this epic star mission so that together we can co-construct the divine plan as enlightened brothers and sisters of the way truth and life this will mean different things to different people but what will remain true for all who join in the sacred collaboration is an endless supply of energy to create with as temples of god we are granted access to as much life force as we can feasibly hold in our vessels which means our creative capacity expands as we do to expand your sacred container is to begin working with the mother plasmic energies that now surround you permeate you and fill your grail cup these infusions of life force are altering our mindscape heartscape and cellscape as we remember what it means to create cosmically as love to grow blossom and bear the fruit of life from our very own garden plot remembering how to work with the sacred substance of the universe is the next order of business for the cosmic citizens of earth the very basis of the new earth experience which will require new things of you know that it is safe to work with these forces now even as we are dredging up past atlantean timeline events that may feel otherwise to complete the transmigration of realities we must purge past atrocities of power that weigh heavily on the ascending however we have already collectively moved beyond the trappings of ego from a time when our baser instincts were not well managed this means that we are now free to experience and explore the sacred forces of life if and as we are aligned with them moving into this new season you may come to know and remember that you are not only rewriting these lifetimes past but reopening doors 
portals to welcome the far distant future into the present. 144 Continuing to Pulsate In Feel it in your sacred heart center, in the center of your chest, the still white magnetic light at the center of all things. As you do, as you open these pathways to begin anew, you will also come to know and remember that this too has already been created, that these pathways have already been laid for and by you for this very pivotal moment in planetary history. So fire up the kiln, the time to mold the divine clay is upon us. From New Earth Institute. Love. From Divine Sistar of the Light Asara Adams. Energy update by the Pleiadian Syrian Arcturian Council of Light. We are here now. We love you. We are you from your future to assist you on your path. Beloved one, at this time you are able to choose your desired reality more deliberately than ever. The veils of illusion are falling fast as your heart is opening to your inherent divinity. Your divine inner being is made of divine love. The opposite of love is fear. Oftentimes, humans are hiding their true divine self of divine love by cloaking themselves in fear. What are these layers of fear based on? Fear is based on the illusion of the ego mind that you are mortal, which is incorrect. Loss of love is equated with aversion of dying. Therefore, the fear of losing love is the driving force to protect yourself. Sometimes this is more obvious. Sometimes it is more subtle. Sometimes it is about love from others, love for yourself, and ultimately, the love of Source, God. Once you recognize that this fear is your ego mind and not real, you can begin to allow your true divine self to come out of hiding. You can choose to drop the layers of fear and protection. You can begin to think, feel, and act the way Source God created you, in the image of God. Then you are able to see through the layers of illusion, and when someone behaves unlovingly towards you, you will know that this is just an illusion. Instead, focus on your divine self and look for and find the divine self of the other. Now your reality will begin to change, and the illusion of fear and absence of love will disappear to make way for divine love. You are in charge of your experience and what you choose to think, feel, and do, no matter the circumstances. You are more powerful than you think you are. You are the creator of your reality. Try to do this for just one day, then for another day, and another. Before you know it, you will enter heaven on earth. Welcome home. We are holding the vision of the divine new earth with you, and from our vantage point it is glorious. We are with you every step of the way. You are loved beyond measure. We are with you always. We love you. We are you. Namaste. Thank you, Pleiadian, Syrian, Arcturian, Council of Light, from teloschannel.com. And today from Divine Sustar of the Light, Erini, Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy, Athena, March 12, 2024, The Orientation of the Soul is of Great Importance, Message, February anchored and initiated the actual physical split that will begin unfolding greatly during the next two years. The light is close. Energy update. There are very fast developments taking place now. We are in full preparation for the hatching of the egg. In our last group session on Sunday, I was shown that the two separating flows have now entered a new acceleration phase, which will bring full disengagement. Some have already disengaged from the old and have fully aligned to the ascending flow. It will be clear in our perception who have chosen the ascending flow and who the descending one. There will also be those who will jump on the ascending flow at the very last minute before full disengagement. We were also told that we have been greatly disoriented. This message it is also literally referring to our lost understanding of the actual overall system that we live in. The four directions that we know are false in the sense that they do not represent the natural and actual meaning of the four directions. 
Through a series of events, we lost orientation to our true homes and the cosmos. This took place within our DNA flows. We are dealing with mirrors and reflections. The inner sun is now helping us to find our orientation and fully heal. This is directly connected to the twin flames and their rebirthing. Once the twin flames find their orientation, they can initiate their rebirth and become the phoenix rising, which also represents the new state of Kundalini. We are now halfway in the restoration of the natural orientation and understanding the direction's true meaning. Each step of the inner process is very detailed and has a unique purpose. It is not something that just happens, nor something that is only happening mentally. This is an actual process of restoration of the self in its trinity soul. Body, mind, spirit, past, present, and future. There is a DNA system map that we follow, a guiding tool that we use, and every step of it explains a bigger part of the journey. This map exists only in one place and can only be retrieved via a certain process. We will work on this soon. Last night I was shown how the tree of life of the crystalline portal of the Acropolis is undergoing a great change. Since early December our work switched completely because we connected to the inner central sun and since February the portal has also been transformed. Sound seems to be taking over all the processes of the portal. I will soon announce the next 144,000 diamonds gathering. The time has come. The overall diamond code is ready for the next phase, and we are to do this before the gate of the equinox. I love this part of ascension that begins now because it is the part of actual awakening that I have been waiting for years, which will also break down all spiritual pride, illusion, distortion, and bypassing that has been really hurting the Ascension community, though I was told that once this opens, many Ascension supporters will fall for the lies because of the deep programming. This will play its role as a big test. Let's hope for the highest to take place. Blessings of Alignment, Erini, El Mariana Anadi Miana, Ol A Christos, Hunama Anata Kumara, Yellow Galactic Warrior, and from Divine Sistar of the Light Karen Lithica, the Human Project, an ancient project aligned to the human configuration and evolution of your species. We ask you vibrationally review this concept, for the uprising of this moment paves the way for humanity to learn and perceive the energy of the past leading to now. The great evolution of your collective life force is now paving the way for your light role in necessitating the change you are seeking. Please know the way forward is within and all around you, as you feel and interpret the vibrational pathway. For the advanced souls are now aligned to their soul tribes of light. They are uniting to bring forth the great assistance you require in the physical realm you desire. Know the great lock and key you seek to reach a higher state of multidimensional advancement is within the cellular expression of your own individual life force. The amplification of your collective and individual mission is the task before you. Your role is to strive to reach a light equilibrium balance between your multidimensional role and light role. Choose your guidance wisely. Seek your inner guidance within to shine the light on what you are seeking. As an antenna of light, seeking and reaching the true light expression of you is what you are seeking. For this is the light bridge to reach and receive the true activation of you. We send blessings for your journey, for you now walk in two worlds, together in light. Be open to receive gifts of light creation. Be love, be light, sending waves of cosmic love Cosmic Light Alliance, the Arcturians and Karen, from KarenLithica.com. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, 144 God Code. 
an ending of obstacles is supporting new beginnings. The Divine Feminine Christ is awakening to inspiring new ideas and creative expression that are revealing themselves through this process. This alignment and understanding wasn't accessible before due to karmic cords and contracts in the way of possibilities. The consciousness is now able to see the light of opportunities that are available to create. As part of this alignment, the Divine Masculine Christ are upgrading into their position of loving, honoring, and protecting the Divine Feminine Christ. Together, the masculine and feminine energies throughout the entire firmament are finally coming into balance and oneness. They are becoming one once again, ending the timeline of separation and control. This is a beautiful new rebirth of the Holy Grail. We are at the zero point of moving on from karmic partners and into divine union, love, and pure source alchemical creations through the masculine and feminine unified. The solar codes downloading from the new Son of God are supporting this awakening of our life force energy and creation through the Holy Grail. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you. Love, Carolyn, from 144godcode.com. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Colleen Lemma. On Tuesday, March 12th, the moon, ruler of our emotional interactions, is void, of course, in fire sign Aries, the warrior, for the rest of her travels until moving into earth sign Taurus at 8.28 p.m. EDT. Void, of course, means that our moon will make no further aspects this day until shifting into the sign of the bull. The energy and passion energies of Aries are taking a break, and there may be a lack of momentum right now. In fact, it is not a good time to charge into any new activities. If we try to move forward, it is said that under a void of course moon that nothing will come of the matter. Do what you must. But it is best to sit tight and wait for a time where Luna is more active again. Blessings of love and light to all from SacredSoulEmpowerment.com And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Lunar Aspects Saturn and Pisces opposite Juno retrograde in Virgo. Saturn's connection to Juno is the second of three, an ongoing story around resistance to commitment. Whether it's troubled relationships or an internal dilemma, we have too many questions and few answers. Right now, the devil is in the details. And yet, if we take this too far, it's possible to lose sight of what we're looking for. Perfectionism and idealism knock us off balance. The trick is to acknowledge the current reality without losing hope of a better future. The moon presses us to address where further healing is required. To regain independence, inspiration, strength, and motivation. Yes, there may be moments of vulnerability, but when you face life head-on, there you will find a bridge to conflicts, a key to a locked door, a healer with wisdom to share, a remedy, a cure, a recovery. Watch for an uprush of energy, a tingle or warmth in your stomach that shows you the way. Courage and optimism are the best medicine. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zoltkeen Times, Keen 143, Blue Cosmic Night. Cosmic is the name for the number 13, and its keywords are Endure, Transcend, and Presence. The last day of the Blue Monkey Wave spell is special because it so poetically sums up the journey that began on day one. The agenda was magic, and after all we went through, the final destination we find ourselves at is the cosmic night. Today we endure to transcend all we have learned, and this process leads us all to become cosmic dreamers. Today is the blue night, and it represents dreams, abundance, and intuition. The blue monkey led us here, a day full of dreaming, aspirations, and imagination. Our dreams are what define us as humans. The monkey in the tree dreamed of walking on two legs, and it was so. What dreams can you dream up to transform your life? Attract abundance into your world today. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papagiorgio, 
Blue Cosmic Night, 13 Akbal, Keen 143, 12th of March 2024, Accomplishing Blissfilled Abundance, Cosmic Abundance Gate, 12 3 2024 equal 3 3 8 equal 3 11 equal 3 2 equal 5 3 3 8 divine abundance portal day codes 12 acquiring spiritual strength wisdom 3 holy trinity joy communication creativity 5 liberation freedom change transformation movement month year codes 3 8 infinite abundance source flow 11 illumination portal gate polarity 1 new beginnings original leader independent unique 2 twins partners cooperation alliances duality 20 the awakening clear vision 24 charisma happiness healing joy keen 143 equal 8 abundance infinity flow abundance gate it is time to claim your reward Divine Cosmic Abundance, Day 13 in the Blue Monkey Wave Spell of Magic, Joy, Bliss, Play, Merriment, Spontaneity, and a Return to Innocence. Today we conclude our magical carpet ride with Chuane, the mischievous and playful blue monkey. And so today we reach the highest level of magic, transcending the humdrum old paradigm and launching into our greatest dreaming having returned home to our pure divine diamond selves. Today we celebrate the active stillness and the pure magic of the enchanted monkey forest. We commence this wave spell in search of our pure divine innocence, our original essence, and today we have arrived here, realizing that the greatest magic lies wholly within us. Connecting to our pure presence unleashes the power of the cosmos and all of creation. Tone of creation, cosmic is the last and final tone of creation, the highest octave. Tone 13 operates in the spiritual realm. 13 is the mystical number of the cosmic order, the goddess, and synchronic natural time. Cosmic action transcends, power endures, essence presence. Today you have incredible spiritual power at your disposal to transcend all those old patterns where the world and all its trappings dissolve into the cosmic mists we can transform them by your pure presence translating into pure bliss we have arrived add some i am here this is the stage of having transcended the physical emotional and mental realms and arriving at cosmic consciousness today we can be still and connect to the essence of our greatest magic the frequency of pure internal presence. You are the rainbow bridge, and you have the power to do this for yourself personally, and also collectively as a valuable member of our planetary tribe of rainbow warriors. Heaven on earth is our collective birthright. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven, as above, so below. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Kadoish, 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 Adonai, Sebayoth. Today's question is How can I transcend illusions and use my highest magic to accomplish my greatest dreams, opening to cosmic abundance through pure divine presence? And so we bid adieu to Chuain, the spontaneous magical blue monkey who enabled us to see through the illusion in order to transcend all that is not of bliss in this world, reclaiming our lost innocence and aligning with our inner divine child, remembering that joy and play are our greatest magical tools to create a wonderful life. Now that we have discovered our greatest magic, we are ready to set forth on our new journey. Tomorrow we commence a brand new wave spell packed with even greater potential, with Khan, the yellow seed, as our learned guide. And so our journey of ripening through the dream spell continues. Get ready to grow exponentially. Divine blessings for your transcendence to receive your highest form of cosmic abundance. In la ketch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 143, Blue Cosmic Night, 
the mantra the code for today is i endure in order to dream transcending intuition i seal the input of abundance with the cosmic tone of presence i am guided by the power of accomplishment and on this powerful day of activations transformations and manifestations let us know beloved beings of light in the comments below what you're seeing what you're feeling your dreams your visions and your synchronicities if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates and as always we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions and we archive these on our website primedisclosure.com now i'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission it's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work so if you'd like to help support our work our mission and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world you could either make a monthly pledge on our patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com or you can make a one-time donation to our paypal or stripe accounts both links are at eaglelovecondor.com now we're going to complete today's transmissions from divine sister of the light carol casanova decree of protection i declare decree request and ask the universe to the family of light and the creator of all that is to be covered with an impenetrable layer of light white and bright i pray this shine makes barriers against all energy that is not of order elevated and cleanse the negative energies that i can to have stored up in my being i ask the warrior angels of light to guide me and protect in this process and in my life experience that all the vibrations that are in me and in my environment harmonize creating happiness peace and fullness in every area of my existence i declare decree request and ask the universe in the blessed name of all the love that is thank you father mother it is done it is done it is done let it be so, and so it is today and forever. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed day as we continue our journey through the ascension portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.